The Indy Autonomous Challenge is a head-to-head -head high speed race of fully autonomous vehicles at the world famous Indianapolis Motor Speedway. Universities actually provide the perfect competitors for this challenge. If you can get university students really motivated, they will put hours and hours in. The talent that's showing up is just unparalleled. They know that the Indy Autonomous Challenge could be their world stage to show what they can really do. When we saw this opportunity come up, it just seemed like a great opportunity to get involved. I'm one of the team leads and also an advisor at Colorado State, and we've partnered with Western Michigan University for this Indy Autonomous Challenge. I've done slower vehicles, probably 20, 25 miles an hour, and to go at speeds of like 200 miles an hour seemed like a really interesting opportunity to do something that hadn't been done before. Motorsports really brings out these strong edge cases that you see for driverless vehicles. You're traveling at such a fast rate that a lot of your sensors, by the time you get a new update, you're already multiple meters ahead, and so your algorithms have to keep up. My name is Nayana Siverna. I'm currently a senior undergraduate computer engineering student from the University of Pittsburgh, and I know that women are often underrepresented in the robotics as well as STEM field. So I'm very grateful that I have the opportunity to be in this position where I can lead a team. This truly is a global competition that brings together some of the brightest AI minds from around the world. In Italy, racing is something which is really the classical heritage of our culture. It's in our DNA. My name is Sergio Savaresi. I'm a full professor at the Department of Electronics and Computer Science at Politecnico di Milano, uh, where I am the founder of the Polymove Lab. Competition and racing is a very simple and undisputable way of assessing the quality of what you're doing. So if you make a good job, you win. If not, you lose. Having 10, 15 cars on the track simultaneously creates a ridiculously complex scenario where the sole German team entering the competition, there are no lanes, there are no real rules, and you really have to understand what the other people are going to do. When we're designing our software, we're really trying to, to mimic the way that a human race driver would be driving the car. I'm Will Bryan, the control lead for Autonomous Tiger Racing, which is Auburn's entry into the IAC challenge. If you're not right on the edge of grip, then you're going too slow and you're not going to win. In motorsport racing, there is a saying that if everything seems under control, you are not going fast enough. I'm Madhur Bahal, and I'm the team principal of Cavalier Autonomous Racing. Traveling at such great speeds, you don't have the luxury of time to figure things out. By the time you figure things out, you're already there. So it, there's a lot of anticipation and predictiveness involved, which is what makes it uh, challenging. The more risky vehicle may just win, but the more risky vehicle may also be the one that crashes on turn one. I'm Dr. Daniel Gonzalez, and I'm part of the, the West Point side of Black and Gold. We really don't want to mess this vehicle up, and so that's why safety has been one of the biggest things we've been striving for. I imagine a lot of tech will come out of the Indy Autonomous Challenge for sort of high speed maneuvering for safety reasons, so avoiding accidents. We're also very fortunate to have Clemson University's International Center for Automotive Research. Luckily here at Clemson, we have this program, Deep Orange, where we, we actually design and build prototype cars as part of our educational process with our students. So it was a natural fit for Deep Orange to take on the project of designing the common vehicle that would be used for the Indy Autonomous Challenge. The car that we're racing is a Delara Indy Light vehicle. The Delara is just beautiful. The lines of it, uh, everything about it. It's that traditional open wheel race car form format that fans are used to seeing at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. It screams when it's going all out at 200 miles per hour. The performance is going to be intense and the competition is going to be fierce. So this is a battle of algorithms. Every team gets the same car. It's not about who has the deepest pockets and who can buy a more expensive engine unit or aero. Uh, everything is the same. It's about outsmarting other vehicles uh, by developing a software which is smarter than other teams. It's a really even playing field from that perspective. Our goal is to win. All these teams are really talented, and so to be able to beat them, you can't do it casually. You have to really give it everything and, and put in a lot of effort. When these teams whose two years of blood, sweat, and tears manifest with their fully polished branded vehicle, and show their algorithm are the best that the world's ever seen. It's gonna be an exciting moment and nobody's gonna be cheering louder than I am.